Hey there, welcome to this exciting tutorial. In this video, we will resolve a common issue that many users encountered. Error 429. You exceed your current quota or this type of error. The server had error while processing your request and so on. Have you ever seen this type of error while working with Mac.com automation? It can be frustrating, but fear not. We have a solutions for it but first let's understand why this error occurs error 429 so this error is directly returns from the open ai chat gpt responses api responses indicating that you would exceeded their rate limits these rate limits are placed to ensure fair usage and optimal performance for all users so when you navigate to this uh, rate limits guides here you can find this uh, rate limits 20 per minutes or 24 per minutes it means that uh, above this 24 per minute hits this particular uh, api is throwing the 429 server error so to fix this you can apply the filter and uh, or slip modules to ignoring these, these modules so let's dive into our scenario dashboard and see that how can you implement this so basically I just using Google Sheet search row modules to show you how can you uh, get the data and create a completions. While creating completions you can uh, through the error 439. So basically let's try to run this once and see that uh, what exact data it's returning with. So here you can find this. Uh, this module is returning the 41 number of bundles. If this process all 41 bundles at once so this particular open ai module is throwing the 429 error just because the red limit is only 24 per minutes and we try to hit the 41 limits so we have to apply a filter to only proceed the 20 uh, less than 24 limits so let's start to apply a filter when you click on this set a filter icon you just need to provide the conditions which you want to apply a filter so basically i just su suggest you to apply this bot bundle order position so basically bundle order position is nothing but the position of bundle uh, coming from the record so here you can find this uh, the order num bundle order position is one and the second bundle the bundle order position is two uh, in third one and fourth one it's four three four and so on so basically we are going to apply the bundle order position is less than equals to less than equals to 24 or 23 so whenever the bundle order position is greater than this 23 the execution is stopped here and not creating a completion within that particular minute and not and throwing the 429 error you can apply these filter to ignoring that 429 filter and you can apply the slip module so let's look uh, at the slip module in action by configuring the slip module, so by uh, to adding this slip module, just navigate to this tool icon. Here you can find the slip uh, module. So slip module is nothing but delay execution of specified period of time you configure in this scenario. So when you click on this, here you can find this delay. Uh, you can set it the limit like two seconds, three seconds, thirty seconds, and so on. So by configuring this slip module with the appropriate delay we can ensure that the automation workflow operates smoothly without hitting any red limits just because when you set it to the 30 seconds or 3 seconds the each bundle is passed through with this uh, slip modules after the that delay you specified with this so in one minutes of uh, red limit this is not exceed and uh, creating a completion without any error it's simply an effective way to avoid the 4 to 9 and keep your automation running seamlessly so you can apply two things slip module or you can apply the filters for bundle order positions is less than equals to 23 to ignoring this uh, 4 to 9 error so the next time you encountered 4 to 9, remember to implementing the slip module strategically by managing your call rate and being mindful for rate limits. You can bypass these common obstacles and enjoy uninterrupted automations. I hope 
you found this video helpful and that is empower you to create a robust and efficient workflows thank you for joining us today we if you have any further questions and uh, further assistance please feel free to leave a comment below don't forget to leave this video and subscribe to our channels for more valuable automation tutorials happy automating